Section 9.2, Sinusoids. A general expression for the sinusoid is like this: Vt equals Vm multiplied by sine omega t, where Vm is the amplitude of the sinusoid. Omega equals the angular frequency in radians per second, and Omega t is the argument of the sinusoid. For this sinusoid, the period t equals two multiplied by pi over omega, and you can find the waveform of this sinusoid in both graphs. For the first graph, the value is omega t. For the second graph, the value is t. But actually. They represent the same value, v t. Obviously, the sinusoid is a periodic function. A periodic function is one that satisfies f t equals f t plus n t, where t is a period for all t and for all integers n, and we can represent using mathematic functions. V t plus t equals V m multiplied by sine omega t plus t, where t equals two pi. We put it inside the equation, and we get V m multiplied by sine omega t equals V t. So V t plus t equals V t. So that's why the sinusoid is a periodic function. For a sinusoid, if we add an angle in the argument, it will cause the curve shift to the left side, just like the graph. The waveform with the solid line is the original function of the original sinusoid. If we add a phi in the argument, and we can get the new sinusoid, which is represented by the dash line, and we can find the original waveform is shifted to the left by phi. Only two sinusoidal values with the same frequency. Can be compared by their amplitude and phase difference. If the phase difference is zero, they are in phase. However, if phase difference is not zero, they are out of phase. Obviously, the two sinusoids inside the graph are out of phase. And you should know the frequency of a sinusoid f equals the reciprocal of the period t, and the unit of the frequency is hertz. And then we can get another relationship: omega equals two pi multiplied by f. Now let's look at this example. Calculate the phase angle between v one. And v2 state which sinusoid is leading. We can solve this problem like this. Finally, you should notice v1 is expressed in cosine. However, v2 is expressed with sine. So, if we want to compare the phase angle difference, we should make sure they are in the same form. Sine. Or cosine, so we can transform both of the voltage in cosine with positive amplitudes. So V1 equals 10 multiplied by cosine plus 50 degree minus 180 degree. So V1 equals 10 multiplied by cosine omega t minus 130 degree, or V1 equals 10 multiplied by 
cosine omega t plus 230 degree. And V2 equals 12 multiplied by sine omega t minus 10 degree equals 12 multiplied by cosine omega t minus 10 degree minus 90 degree. And then we make the face angle as positive. So we get V2 equals 12 multiplied by cosine omega t minus 130 degree plus 30 degree or V2 equals 12 multiplied by cosine omega t plus 260 degree. So if we compare the face angle of V2 and V1, we find the face angle of V2 is greater than V1 by 30 degree. So V2 leads V1 by 30 degree. This is the end of this section.